Hello, my name is Henry Renfri, and this is a Godot 4.0 3D tutorial. I'm now making the switch from Godot 3.0, and when the makers of Godot makes a big leap in numbers like that, th this version will come with new terminology and things named differently from what it was in the previous version. A lot of things are going to be slightly different in this version. Some of the formulas, terminology, and things that worked it in the 3.0 version won't work in this version. I mean, some things might still apply in this version, but there are a lot of slight differences. And it may require relearning a few things. On this channel, every time there's a new version of Godot with radical changes in it, as with Godot 2.0, Godot 3.0, and Godot 4.0, I always show you how to move a cube around in 3D space. You'll be able to move it forward, backward, turn and rotate it, and keep moving forward with consistent control. That concludes the changes, which might not work in the former version. Okay, so first thing that I do is create a 3D scene. In Godot 4.0, instead of a spatial node right here, Godot 4.0 has no 3D instead. Instead of kinematic body, Godot 4.0 has character body 3D. And then I'm going to just keep this name and then I'm going to click the plus and then I'm just going to add a mesh instance because we're going to work with a cube. Okay, so that's the mesh instance and we're going to have a new box mesh. And then I'm going to have another node 3D and we're going to call this cam base. This is something for our camera to follow around, especially when we do rota rotations and stuff like that. This is something that's going to be in our code later on. Okay, so we got our character and then we'll just save let's call it node 3d to keep everything simple okay so that's our character now we're going to create a floor click the plus 3d scene i'll just rename this floor and this is going to be our room next mesh instance 3d this is another box and we're going to resize this box okay this is going to be our floor next we're just going to drag in this texture just so that you can see where we are whenever we move our character around our character again is this box here okay Next, we're going to bring a camera into the room. Camera is called Camera 3D in Godot 4.0. Then turn on current, just like in Godot 3.0. Then, then we're going to bring in our character, our Node 3D. Now we're going to fix the camera so it can be behind the square. Deck. Make sure your camera is facing towards the forward direction here. I mean, some of these things are like uh, Godot 3.0, but for those who are just starting from scratch directly on Godot 4.0, this is what we do. Now we're going to pull this cube up a little bit so we can see it better. And we're going to attach our camera to our character so that our camera will follow the player when it moves around. Let's just move this camera back just a little bit more. I think this will be good enough for our purposes. Okay, now let's save the scene. Scene, save as, just going to call it floor. And then we're going to make it so that whenever we launch our game, it'll choose this scene right here. Project. Project settings, run, click the folder, or the scene we just made. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so that's our cube, that's our floor. Now we're going to attach a script to our character. Attach script, no 3 is good. And I'm just going to paste in this code that I wrote before this tutorial. We got our variables right here. Attach the camera to the variable. Move speed is going to be 0 0.3. These three variables are going to help us with our rotations. Turn speed, our rotation speed is going to be 0 0.5. Wide velocity is 0. Go again is going to help us with our uh, rotation. And instead of vector 3, instead of this, like in Godot 3.0, they just put the word dot zero instead of what they used to have. Okay, so funk process delta, just anything under this is what makes the character moves around on screen. Here, if we press the up button, it's just that our character moves forward at a speed of 0 0.3. Here, our character moves backwards. UI down, our character moves backwards. Input, UI right, our character rotates towards the right direction. And UI left, our character rotates to the leftward direction. Just, just feel free to copy these things. And these things makes it so that you have consistent control. Like even if you rotate, the up button will always move you forward. The down button will always move you backwards, regardless of which way you're facing. And that's what I like. Move X dot Y. It sets the vertical velocity to zero and rotation movement vector part set takes into account our character's current rotation status. And this is how you keep your controls consistent. Okay, so let's launch our game and see what happens. Okay, square. 
move forward if I press the up button, move backwards. If I press the down button, if I press the left button, the character loads to the left. Let's see what happens if I press the up button again. See, got consistent controls. Same thing if I press the right button. I know our rotation is moving fast, but at least you get the idea. You can always make the turn speed, I say about 0 0.1 or something, and then try again. So go up, down, left, woo. Up button still will still make us move forward. Down button will still make us move backwards. And if I press the right button, rotate to the right, and still up button will still move you forward. Down button will still move you backwards. And that's what we want. And that's the end of this tutorial. Take what you learned in this tutorial and expand us. Till next time. Thanks. Bye. Mm.